Hi, my name is Theodora and I'm a PhD student at the Sofia University. My research is related to how organizations and brands engage with people on the web through marketing communications. Today, I want to present you a part of my research, which is related to the intersections between marketing communications and the semantic web. The research relevancy of, of my inquiry is that there is, on the web, there is a need for meaningful, value creating interactions to marketing communications. And while this need uh, has been described and it's known, there has not been enough research of the technological means that would sustain a continuum of interactions with stakeholders. Why do we need that continuum? Why would marketing communications need to create a continuum of interactions? Because this decreases the cost of building relationships with customers on one hand, and on the other, it decreases the perceived by the customer cost of having a relationship with a brand. The context of marketing communications today on the web is a context of disparate systems, fragmented marketing content, and most importantly, a user switching their mobile screen to different content every 10 or 20 seconds. And this is the epitome of my research problem. Here it is. This is a recording of the screen of a customer, of a user who is jumping across different content throughout the day on their mobile phone. This is done by the Human Screen On Project and it is the communication scenario in which my main research question lives. And this is the question, how do organizations communicate and market in, to an empowered yet very distracted user? The research problem, again, restating that. On the web, marketing communications practices that is um, to differentiate, to reinforce the message, to inform and to persuade are facing a scenario where the message is to be developed, sent and received, ultimately interpreted in an information intensive, chronically promotional environment. So in my research, I investigate how communications content utilize the dialogic potential of the web and also can the affordances of the semantic web technology be used for dialogic communication in more detail i look at schema org and how it is or it is not used across marketing communications content in parallel with the dialogic communication principles for engaging audiences on the web here, I just want to present you some digital marketing communications touch points. And not only these are engagement opportunities, but they are also data points. So my research aim is to set the stage for marketing communications to start looking at the web of data. And in some future work, I would map all these customer touch points to related data points. So creating content and sending and constructing messages on the web within marketing communications is also about the data layer of, of this content, the data and the metadata layer. 
In this particular research, my questions are, which dialogic principles, I'll talk about them in a minute, are present in the investigated digital marketing communications content? Which of the investigated pieces are annotated with schema org? And are there gaps between what semantic web technologies can do for content and what marketing communications are using from this potential? To answer my questions and to find out more, I'm conducting a literature review to find intersections. I'm designing a framework to assess the use of dialogic principles in combination with semantically annotated content. And I'll be doing a quantitative and qualitative analysis of website content and other related brand content. Theory intersections at the very abstract level. These are meaning, relationships, and knowledge. And while these three might not be the first thing you're thinking about when talking about marketing communications, they are the pillars of a very strong thread in marketing literature, which is called the relationship marketing. So at the level of content and customer relationships, there are the intersections are about context-aware content creation, about knowledge discovery and co-creation, and about meaningful interactions across channels. Here I'm mapping the challenges in marketing communications on the web to the affordances of the semantic web, mainly facilitated search interoperability and the design of complex applications can be used for meaningful interaction on the web as opposed to mass marketing one-way pitches and also for management of information flows, not for manipulating the marketing mix. Last but not least, especially with the omni-channel um, marketing communications, there is this need of continuous engagement across devices and platforms. And this is where interoperability would come very handy. The framework I developed is based on uh, a theoretical framework developed by Michael Kent in 1998, which was a framework for a website and whether a website has a dialogic orientation. What I will be doing is translating these principles, namely the dialogic loop principles, principle, usefulness of information, generation of return of visits, ease and intuitiveness of interface, the rule of conservation of visitors, all this I'm translating into content, what content is needed for that, and then I'm mapping that to schema.org types. For the purposes of this presentation, I have shown uh, some principles that are corresponding and are important for engagement across the web. Example, the dialogic loop is not only to be considered within a website, it is considered, it is to be considered within the entire interaction continuum of the person with the brand. For example, there is this fragmented nonlinear customer journey, and this is a complex continuum of mediated interaction, which for sure needs machine readable layer on top of it. So that customers can keep the dial, can be kept in the dialogic loop, and also the usefulness of information is again all about being able to ask questions not only on the website but across the web and there is this slow overflowing of channels uh, to social media from website to social media this is again the generation of return of visits is not only about websites it's about the entire content and search is a major part uh, of of the customer journey and hence schema types are important for dialogic uh, communication. The principles, again, this is 
a table I'm showing here uh, because all these all this content can be annotated with schema work. That is, the affordances are here. It is a question of research whether they are used and whether they can be used for efficient search, relevant content recommendation, and intelligent agent supporting the customer. They can, but the thing is whether companies are doing that. So the data I will be investigated will be collected from uh, 20 companies, the first 20 companies from the S&P 500 um, index. And the quantitative analysis will use the measure of semantic technologies for marketing communications which content is annotated uh, of the content that um, is uh, related to dialogic principles. This is not done yet. I hope to present that next year and be able to prove my hypothesis that RDFA is a tool for building not only data, but also dialogic relationships to engage with stakeholders on the web. Thank you very much for your time.